breaking news. We begin with an unbelievable scene in Burlington, a front yard that looks more like a junkyard. Three cars smashed up and piled up against a house. Amazingly, no one inside the home was injured. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. The home, though, is damaged, and witnesses say it is all because of a driver who was out of control. Liam Martin is live in Burlington right now with more on this breaking news. Liam? Lisa and David, this is a wild scene. Those two cars against the house were in the driveway when the night began. That pickup truck came from a street adjacent across a yard, hit the two cars in the driveway, and the force was enough to push them into the house. And to give you a sense of just how intense the impact was, in the gutter there on the left side of the house, that is the muffler of one of the cars that was hit. The driver of the truck is okay. His female passenger has been taken to Leahy Hospital. She is expected to be okay. The people who were inside the house, they are okay as well, including two children, but the house has been declared structurally unsound right ahead of Thanksgiving. They are out of the house tonight. A neighbor who lives across the street says he came running outside when he heard that big bang just past eight o'clock tonight. They were in a state of shock because, um, like I said, the lady was the first one to run out of the house. And as soon as I heard, they, they one of the, I think the husband mentioned, you know, smell like gas leak. We asked them to come out of the house. They stayed here for quite a bit. Certainly, unlike anything most of the people in this neighborhood have ever seen, the driver says of this pickup truck that he had a medical episode, but police are investigating. He has been summons to court for operating to endanger, but again, the people inside the house, the driver of the truck and his passenger are all expected to survive, which is pretty remarkable given the scene here on Bedford Street in Burlington. Live in Burlington, I'm Liam Martin, WVZ News.